last night was a absolute insane windstorm. <laughs> It is day three on this roof build today. Little tiny house roof build. Got pretty far yesterday, had a little distractions and a little late start, but today we're pushing. Hopefully getting all of the sheeting on, all of our decking on, all of our skylight thingies put back in place. I would love to get the roof pretty well wrapped up today. So that way over the weekend, I can just do cob and plaster and get this house totally, totally done and nice and finished beautiful and most importantly not leaking and not getting eaten by mice. They got all of our insulation up, all of our cracks filled up with spray foam. Yeah, we're probably, this is adding two inches of insulation and then I've got one inch in the ceiling. So we're probably at like R18-ish, which is pretty good. A standard home I think is about R14. You do lose most of your heat and cooling through the roof. So I think this will make a big difference on the comfort, not only the waterproofing of this building. So next step is to get the Rest of our sheeting up. I'm back out here after lunch, and I will say, if you haven't seen our recent video of our air conditioning install, that has been life-changing because being able to get out of the heat from like noon to 2.30, like the worst, worst of it, oh, it just makes everything so much better, more productive. <laughs> so back out here for the afternoon shift, which always goes a little bit slower, but I am pushing to get as much done as I can today. Ran out of cheating, so I gotta go to town to get that but I did keep it just open in this front section uh, because hopefully I can get the rest of the house pretty well done, or at least up to the asphalt paper and trim and stuff. So hopefully I only have to go to town one extra time for this build, which would be a miracle in our world. Time to get back at it. I am wrapping up day three because I still got to go to town and get some more supplies, uh, some more sealant tape, some ridge caps, some more OSB. Didn't get as much done as I was expecting today. This thing, I don't know why, it's a simple box with an angle, but it just has been such a problematic thing. I think my uh, miter saw got tipped sideways, so I had to recut everything and it was just, but it's here. We're done. We're done with that. Now you guys can kind of see that increased slope and I also took it out of its frame so this is going to be a fixed skylight now instead of a one that opens and closes. Uh, so I'm hoping not having that extra little seam around there will make it a little easier to seal up. But yeah, we're going to get to town, get some supplies and then get back on this tomorrow morning. Good morning, everybody. It is day four of little tiny house, roof rebuild after the mouse incident. 
I was expecting two days to get this done. I gave myself five because I know you have to at least double what you think it's gonna take. But I think we're within striking distance of getting the roof done today. I still have quite a bit of work to do on the outside here. You can see cobbing up that gap, all that fun stuff just to touch it up and make this place nice for somebody. So yeah, first thing today is finishing getting our materials on and then getting our deck or uh, the curb mounts for the skylight and Bent pan in, some paint, some asphalt paper, some roofing, some trim. We're gonna get to it. Moving right along. I've got most of the asphalt paper up, just two more sheets to go. I was just thinking, you know, it's kind of cool just knowing how to do this stuff. <laughs> like, I've done enough roofs now that I'm pretty confident in my abilities and don't have to go look a bunch of stuff up and just kind of can remember it through, you know, doing it over and over again. And even on this house, this is my second house, and yeah, I learned a lot of lessons on this. The seals that I had didn't leak. So even back then, I kind of knew what I was doing enough that didn't have leaking issues from a sealant point. It just came from mice being out here and really using an inappropriate window as a skylight. this always happens but I always end up doing roofing on May 15th which is always like our first really really hot day of the year and I keep burning my butt on asphalt paper. Skylight in, had some scrap, I guess corrugated plastic roofing stuff that I just painted white. I think it'll match really nice with the white roof. And yeah, this already looks exponentially better. Much more professional than it did before. So I gotta get this in with the trim and then we'll get our roof on. So definitely think this is gonna push into day five. Not quite used to the heat kicking back up. So it's taking a little longer <laughs> than I would have hoped. Looking pretty good, I'm pretty happy with this. I got both of the skylight and the fan dried in, trimmed up, all of that. I'm gonna take a little afternoon siesta and start getting into that habit. Come back and finish the roof once the sun goes down here a little bit. All right, some very, very interesting things going on. <laughs> so I remember the first year I was here, we did not get a cloud in the entire month of May. And now I'm getting a little sprinkle, a little rain on, middle of May. Super weird. is day five of this two-day roof rebuild. At least I'm realistic. <laughs> Gave myself five days even though I thought it would take two. Last night was a absolute insane windstorm. Kept me up most of the night and definitely heard stuff flying everywhere. So yeah, that's gonna be fun because I definitely left some roofing metal up on top of the roof, um, not expecting a giant windstorm last night. So 
We're gonna get some tools, start wandering down there. Yeah, let's just hope our asphalt paper is still on the roof and that it's not too hard to go find all my roofing metal all over the property. <laughs> so if you can't tell by now, I don't like the mice. I just came out and this was left in my truck last night and the mice literally, literally took a crap in my cup. They went and they put their little buttholes on that little, little spout. Took a shit in my drink. Like, <laughs> they're the worst. The worst animals. Okay, so the back looks okay. I can just retack that down. That's not a big deal. We got a little rippage over there, but I think it'll be okay. And actually that held on. Okay, cool. So, nothing too dramatic. I do have to go find all of our stuff. It's just blown everywhere. <laughs> We're done. I feel like I just said this a couple weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> working on wherever it is, that house. Done with the roof. Yes, sort of. Still need to come in and do aesthetic stuff. So I'm gonna come in and clean this off really well. And then I've got some elastomeric paint left over from our underground school bus and just coat this in a single coat so it looks a little nicer. But that is a project for another day. I'm calling this done five days. And yeah, pretty happy with how it came out. This was definitely a tough, tough build. A lot of complicated parts and pieces, but very glad to have it done. Very glad to have it secured and off my mind of leakage as we prepare to get into monsoon season in the next couple of months. Very excited to have this project wrapped up. You can see I ended up using a bunch of our scrap stuff. So I had two, 14 foot pieces left over from our Hyper Adobe. That was able to cover the bulk of it, but not everything. These were little off cuts. Um, you can see kind of the mismatched colors and stuff like that. Just kind of tile them in a way that basically you want to start at your bottom and work your way up so all the water doesn't get underneath. Uh, I need to clean all this off and I'm going to put a coat of paint over the entire thing so that way it doesn't look like a weird meth lobby kind of situation like a lot of our neighbors <laughs> but uh that's a project for another day i'm just so happy to have this thing pretty well wrapped up and sealed up and just gotta clean the build site now So I came out here to do our outro of this video and yeah, you can see the stores around us. So I'm very, very glad I got this built done early because yeah, normally we don't get monsoon season until like late July, early August at the very, very earliest, usually like mid to late August. And super weird, super weird in mid-May to be getting storms like this, lightning over there, and just super weird. But very glad we got the roof on this build. We're 
done with that portion of it. Now it is just aesthetics and making this a wonderful, beautiful, tiny home for someone to live in. Super exciting. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we will have the rest of this build out coming out soon. And if you enjoyed this video, go check out the video here of our first renovation of this tiny home to make it a wonderful livable space. Thank you guys for watching. Go build something.